Hey there, sunshine. It's Roxy. So, okay. Call me crazy. I am crazy. You guys all know this. But there's been a couple women come into my business recently and they've not really done Facebook Lives before. And we all know the power of Facebook Lives. We all know the beauty of it. We all know, you know, how much they trend, increase visibility, increase connections, all that kind of fun stuff. But they're thinking in their heads, like, who am I to do a Facebook Live? You know, am I going to be some weirdo just showing up and doing a Facebook Live? Am, am I going to be like, you know, a fraud who isn't an expert? But you know what? I got to let you know. It's like they have a message. They have something to give. They have something beautiful to share in the world. And so do you. So I want to give you some ideas, some tips and tricks and solutions, just like I gave them. So you too can get to that sunny side of life. If you are fearful and wondering what the heck to talk about on Facebook Live. Because we know that if, if we're feeling stumped, if the very first thing about a Facebook Live is feeling stumped of what to talk about, then how are we supposed to press that little button? How are we supposed to press that little button and then go live? If we don't even know what the heck we're going to talk about. So let's start from the beginning, okay? Because I do have, I have fallen in love with Facebook Lives. I absolutely adore them. So the very first tip that I want to give you guys an insight, I guess more really, is if you're stumped. If you're feeling stumped about what to talk about, there is potentially two problems. You know, feedback from my own mentors back in 2015 is there's two things. If you're feeling stumped about moving forward in anything in life, there's two things. Number one, you're overloaded. That's the first option. You are overwhelmed with information. You are so swamped, you're drowning in information. And you have now don't even know what to do because you're so overloaded um, with information. It's called information constipation. Okay. It's a real thing <laughs> for some women. The other thing is if you're feeling stumped is that you are not pouring enough into your heart. You're not pouring enough into your mind. You're not pouring enough into your soul. So you're not pouring enough things into yourself so you can give some ability to have some insights, some ability to have some inspiration. You're not giving yourself enough um, pouring in and giving yourself that quiet time to then mull things over and share some things out, okay? We are all wonderful women for a, for a couple different reasons, okay? Maybe you're an amazing cook. Maybe you're an amazing grandma. You know, maybe you're an amazing gardener. You have so much to give the world, and yet sometimes we just don't think that we have value. But if you talk to your best friend, they know you're an expert. You're a, a source of goodness, of inspiration, of empowerment for something. So, you know, that's tip number three. Allow your friends to maybe give you some insights and some conversation. Talk with them and say like, hey, what do you think I'm really good at? You know, when it comes to building a business online, what you talk about every single day doesn't have to be what we, what business, it doesn't have to be that, okay? So allow yourself some quiet time to allow for inspiration and insights when you're feeling stumped and discover if you're feeling overwhelmed and overloaded at information constipation or you're not pouring into your heart, your soul, your mind um, enough good information. So that that is that is my very beginning on the prelude. So my other favorite thing to do every single day is because I am a network marketer. Um, I am building an online business. I love my team, my tribe, my sisters. So I field a lot of questions. You know, I, I am in messenger, I'm in conversation. I am, you know, meeting new people. I'm prospecting every day. So I am constantly listening. Okay, I don't mean to be mean, but I'm listening to women complain all the time. I'm listening to women talk about their struggles all the time. I am listening to women that are questioning the industry and how they can fit within this industry all the time. Basically, you know, not to be mean, but I listen to women bitch a lot. 
okay? Because we're really good at it, okay? And I am an amazing sounding board, and I am honored that women come to me and pour their hearts out every single day, Shauna. I am like overwhelmed with joy and goodness because I believe that there is enough sunshine and success out there for everybody. And I, because I have that abundant heart, my business is blooming tenfold. Like you guys saw, thank you for the congratulations, in August, I had my biggest month ever in this whole industry. I just had my anniversary for my seven years the other day. I am so joyful, so joyful to serve, okay? So because I listen to complaints and questions and women's struggles and worries, um, you know, because they're asking me about social retail and they're, they want to try again. So I'm always hearing, I listen, so I'll flip those those complaints, those questions, those struggles into how-to tips, you know, helpful solutions, um, other ideas of be able to move forward because what, what one woman's problem might be or struggle or complaint um, or worry or fear is it's going to be another woman's, right? So what one woman's problems are, are very likely to be another's. So isn't that a great topic of what to talk about? Okay, so we're, we're inundated with, with information um, about we're problem solvers. So when we're, when we're fielding women's heartfelt concerns or worries, we, we're solution-minded, right? We come to the table because we care. So therefore, we can help them. So use that as a Facebook topic, okay? The other thing is, is hot topics, okay? Hot topic is things like, you know, should I homeschool or should I not homeschool? You know, that's a great Facebook uh, topic. You know, or is wine a school supply? You know, for some women, it just might be. So having a hot topic discussion is a great way to talk about what's relevant in the world right now. Obviously, eh, you know, kind of steer away from you know, things that are overly political, over dramatic, over negative. Always, if you're gonna even talk about a pain point, always strive to end on on that sunny side right on the positive side of a solution when you're doing your Facebook live okay so so sometimes like I even wrote some down because you guys know me I'm all about the notes because your time is precious so you know in the summertime some hot topics were you know how to lose you know how to lose that puffy belly bloat or you know how to you know in a great way lose cellulite because you guys know that we come out with launching that new product, that Cellulite Slayer. By the way, if you're Canadian, I still got some in stock for you. If you're in the USA, I can grab you some. Just holler, I can get you on the next pre-order list. The, the testimonials of that were absolutely mind-blowing for skin imperfections, like getting rid of cellulite, smoothing those rimples and dimples, amazing stuff. It sold out, could not believe that, how quick it went. But anyway, so maybe um, your Facebook topic could be like how to make new friends, you know, or content that gets conversations going. What do you, what do you post on Facebook to get more eyeballs on your posts? What do you do with those all those emojis? Those emojis are cash in the bank potentially. So what do you do with them, right? So, you know, and what do I say when they say this? There's all kinds of great ways to provide content and story ideas that people want to know because ultimately some of my best content, some of the best topics for Facebook solutions are solving the problems of your younger self, okay? You know, say like when I was 20, you know, what was my problems when I was 20? When I was 30, what were my problems when I was 30? When I was a brand new network marketer, what were my problems as a network marketer? That's like, isn't that just a fabulous idea? If we think about all, all the problems we had at the beginning, all the pains and problems and trials and tribulations, all the things that made us cry at night, you know, made us all sniffly, waking up in the morning and looking at crickets and having no engagement on our Facebook page. So what were the problems of your younger self within network marketing? You know, because we're all there just trying to figure it out. We're all there. So when I think about this, the best Facebook topics that I can always think about is solving the problem or being solution minded for somebody else. 
because isn't that what it's all about? Isn't that what serving women and men within this industry is remembering that, you know, together we are more. So waking up in the morning thinking about how can I help somebody and who can I help today leads me in the right direction and gives me topic ideas all day long. Like it's just impossible for me not to want to have a Facebook Live every single night, which I did for years and years and years, especially if you guys stalk my YouTube channel. So thinking about these, if we take the stress off of ourselves and we think about doing a Facebook Live for someone else, I'm here to answer Shauna's questions. And I'm looking at that little eye dot right up there and I'm looking right at Chandra and I'm just talking to her. I'm not worried and stressed about everything else in the world because too many people fret and worry over what am I going to talk about instead of just jumping into it and discovering who can I help today? What problems can I answer? What solutions can I give to solve this woman that I absolutely love and adore online and help her out by giving her some of those answers for her trials, tribulations, and problems? And if you know of a woman who wants to do Facebook Lives, but she is fearful, she is worried, I did a workshop back in January, and I can grab you an invitation to that. You can catch the recorded training. It still stands sound for today. And I'm really, really excited to be able to, you know, continue to share out good works, you know, pour into other women as I myself have been poured into. And as always, when I say social retail, and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, you know, this mom and pop thing ain't so bad. Absolutely loving life over here on the sunny side. Anyway, you guys have a great night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mwah. Love you guys.